Hello dear student, this is Sujata Madiwala. How are you all? I hope you are all fine and you are all in a safe zone. No colleges, no classes and the country is in a lockdown position to beat a coronavirus. Don't get panic. There is no lockdown for learning. You can learn in a better way with the help of internet. I will try to provide you a pre-recorded video of the remaining syllabus so that it can help you. So yeah, as for the Karnataka University syllabus, the two under the chapter macromolecules, it involves the types of polymers, those are natural and synthetic, and types of poly reactions, chain reactions, polyethylene, polystyrene, and PVC, polyvinyl chloride, and polymethyl methacrylate, mechanism of addition, polymerization reaction, and a condensation reaction, molecular weight of a polymers, that is number average weight, and the weight average molecular mass and determination of molecular mass of molecules by two methods one is osmotic pressure method and one is by viscosity method this is what the syllabus under the macromolecules don't get scared by looking at the syllabus it's the easy chapter to understand and uh, it will fetch you good marks if you practice well so let's move to the macro molecules chapter so very first question comes to our mind is what are macro molecules right the name it itself contains a two word that is one is macro and one, another one is molecules macro molecules macro means in a size will be in a bigger micro means smaller one and the macro means the bigger one so by going to the definition molecules are a polymers these are also called as a polymers and this chapter you already studied in a uh, second PUC. The polymers are very high molar mass compounds consisting of a structural units interconnected by a covalent bonds. So what is covalent bond? You already know there will be equal sharing of electrons in a covalent bonds. So the, all the molecules they are connect, interconnected by these co co covalent bonds. And their molar mass may vary from 5000 to several millions. Millions means they have a high molar mass. The chemistry of these joint molecule is known as polymer chemistry. Joint meaning here is, here, let me tell you in Kannada, that is dodda dada, means higher, bigger molecule. The polymer chemistry and this is known as the polymer chemistry or a macromolecular chemistry. So, so the history behind this one or the research, whatever the research going on this one, the fundamental research of the polymer first was done 1920-1950 by German chemist Hermann Stadinger from 1881-1965 who won the 1953 chemistry Nobel Prize and as well as Ziegler and Nutt also in 1979 and Paul Flory in 1910-1985 and also made a significant contribution in this subject and uh, till now there are so many researcher, uh, research are going on then you, you may have a question that why we have to study these polymers right so why you have to study every every day when you wake up we use the brush buckets and these all are made up of uh, these chairs and these glass bottle, bottles then these bags plastic bags these are all the derivative of this polymers only these all these all comes under this our polymers only pipes these all so it it has polymers has a wide applications so we need to study these concept and the still researchers are going on to, uh, to go to the higher level of studies you need to understand why how they are formed what are the types of polymers and all these things you need to understand so and uh, let me understand by this uh, what is polymer so the word polymer is coined from two greek words that is poly means many mer means unit means there are so many units are there the term polymer de defined as a very large molecules very high molecular uh, nearly about 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 7 units of a high molecular mass compounds are called as a polymer these are also referred to as a macromolecules so another name for polymer is called as a macromolecules which are formed by joining the repeating the structural units in a large scale the repeating structure units are derived 
derived for, from some simple and reactive molecules and known as monomers means these repeating these repeating units for example if you consider for example if you consider this polyethylene polymer it is an polymer it has a high molecular weight this is going to form you with the help of the small repeating units that is ethene ethene is an repeating units so these are small small repeating units to together form a large molecular weight, uh, weight molecules called as a polymer and the, these monomers are linked by a covalent bond like that if 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 you take an ethylene 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 repeating units they are linked by a covalent bond and this process of formation of from the respective monomer is called as a polymerization polymerization means what the formation of a polymers with the help of the monomers for example here ethene is a monomer with the help of a smaller unit we are going to form a polyethylene means this is what the polymer here and you, you can also take a two more example here the hexamethyl diamine and adipic acid hexamethyl diamine and adipic acid both together polymerizes to give us a nylon 66 this is an a polymer but these two are called as an monomers are you getting my point and we will be the, if, uh, now you i hope you understand about this polymer polymer is coined from the two greek words that is poly means many mer means unit or a part you can say so then we will move on to the classification of the polymers or as classification you can ca call it as a types of polymers also the how we can classify these polymers on the basis there are several ways to classify these polymers polymers based on special consideration uh, for four ways we had explained here what are those uh, very first one is classification based on the source and the second one is classification based on the structure of polymers and the third one is classification based on the mode classification based on the source it indicates what from which origin whether we are, we are getting we are getting a natural polymer or a synthetic polymer man-made polymer based on the source we can say that we can classify the polymers and also structure of the way how the how the uh, polymers are arranged in the way so their <coughs> their picture they how they are arranged on the basis of that also we can able to able to classify the polymers and the mode of polymerization how the poly whether they are formed with addition polymerization or by condensation polymerization so based on that one we can also classify and the fourth one is by molecular forces molecular forces like means tensile strength elasticity you all already learned about what mean by tensile strength and elasticity so based on that we can able to classify this one and we will move on to this one with a one by one uh, we will we will look at the classification of these polymers very first one is classification based on the source under this type this one we have we have a two uh, three types of categories that is sorry uh, let me <laughs> we have two one is natural polymer and another one is semi-synthetic polymer and the third one is synthetic polymer so under the classification based on the source we can say natural polymer semi-synthetic polymers and a synthetic polymer so very first one we will understand this natural polymer what are natural you already come across this word these polymers are found in the plant animals you already heard protein cellulose starch you already use in uh, laboratory starch indicators you use starch and cellulose some resins and rubber you heard about these all comes under the natural polymer means there is a, the source is nature itself is a source so we say that these are the natural polymers then come to the semi-synthetic polymers what is semi-synthetic polymers cellulose derivative as a cellulose acetate rayon and a cellulose nitrate it is these are usual example of the subcategory means with the help of the natural with the help of these natural polymers we able to we able to synthesize this uh, rayon and all those cellulose nitrates e, these are all semi these are called as a semi-synthetic polymers then come to the synthetic polymers it's also called as a man-made polymers 
what do you mean by synthetic polymers means a variety of synthetic polymers are plastic polyethylene or uh, your daily use plastics are called synthetic fibers fiber uh, fabric materials and synthetic rubbers are the examples of a man-made polymers and they are extensively used in daily life as well as in industry the mug and the brush you are using the mug you are using and the pipes pipes for, for a water connection we are using these all comes under the and the water bottles plastic water bottles you are using these all comes under the synthetic polymers and man-made polymers so based on the origin how many how many good types are we had we made there are three types one is natural polymer semi-synthetic polymer and the synthetic polymer this comes under the based upon the sources based on the source of this one we can classify the polymer into three categories what are those natural polymer and the semi-synthetic polymers and the synthetic polymers then coming for the classification based on the structure of the polymer what are the uh, based on the structure of the polymer so here also we can classify this polymers into three categories one is linear polymers and a branched chain polymers and as well as a cross linked network polymers so linear polymers if you consider linear polymers these polymers consist of a long chain and a straight chain the examples are high density polythene polyvinyl chloride and Ethylene represented as they have a single long chain like this wise as it, as it is shows in the shown in the picture we can say we can uh, we can say that these have a the strong long chain single chain so this is called as a linear polymer they don't contain any branches so we we call it as a as a linear polymer then coming for uh, then coming to the branched chain polymer branched chain polymers polymers contain linear chain having some branches for example if you consider here this this is what the polymer chain and there here there will be a branches and these these linear chains having a branches so this is called as a branched chain polymer then coming for the last one that is cross linked network polymer cross linked network polymer in the sense cross linked network polymer in the sense we can these are usually formed by bifunctional and trifunctional monomers what do you mean by bifunctional and trifunctional the functional group may be bifunctional uh, functional group or it may be a trifunctional functional group for example if you consider See, for example, very OH is a functional group. COOH is a functional group. If it contains two two functional group, that is called as a bifunctional. If it contains more than two, uh, three functional groups, and it is called a trifunctional. And it contains a strong covalent bond between the various linear polymer chain. In between the chain only, it contains the strong linear polymer. So, the for example, bakelite, melamine, and these polymers as shown in the below figure. So these are the example of a cross-linked polymer. Means they are they are not like a linear or a crossed polymer. You can consider this as a like this. There may be two more, three more, three-dimensional picture. It will be so. So based on the. Uh, structure of the polymers we can uh, based on the structure of the polymers there are three different types uh, on the structure of the polymers one is linear polymers and branched chain polymers and the cross-linked network cross-linked or network polymers we can say so chain polymers and the linear polymers and the network polymers so you need to remember this one it, it is very important this based on the structure of the polymers how we classify this one you can put a danger mark on this one so while reading you can read it twice so the remaining <laughs> remaining uh, classification we um, we can i will explain it later we uh, in the later uh, pre-recorded video so we'll meet you in the next video.